Virtual Area Networks, VLANs, are great at segmenting a network to improve efficiency and security. Setting up a special VLAN for voice traffic ensures that voice traffic is prioritized, allowing for clear and reliable calls over your network. This can be done using the web user interface or via the command line interface, CLI. In this first of a two-part episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to configure voice VLAN on a Cisco Catalyst 1200 or 1300 switch via CLI. Next. A few quick notes before I jump in. I'll be using a 1300 model, but the process is the same for the 1200 models as well. For both models, the VLANs must be configured in global configuration mode. Start with a quick check to see if there are any VLANs already configured on your switch. Enter the command show VLAN in privileged executive mode. Since I haven't added VLANs to this switch yet, only VLAN 1 is shown, the default VLAN. Log into global configuration mode with the command configure terminal. Now you can create VLANs. I'll start with one to carry data traffic. I'll enter the command VLAN2 name data. And that's it. VLAN2 is created for data. By default, the voice VLAN ID on this switch is 1, but you want a voice VLAN for quality of service implementation. To statically configure the VLAN identifier of the voice VLAN, I'll use the command voice VLAN ID 300. When you see a notification asking for confirmation to create the VLAN, Type Y to confirm. Great, the voice VLAN has been created. Now you need to set the type of voice VLAN that will be functional on this device. To do this, use the global configuration mode command voice VLAN state, and then add a question mark. This lets you see the four available options. The first is for an OUI enabled VLAN. This would enable a voice VLAN on a per switch port basis when it detects the organizationally unique identifier of a voice device. The auto enabled option automatically enables the voice VLAN on the switch. The auto triggered option is on standby and is put into operation when the switch detects a Cisco Discovery Protocol CDP device advertising a voice VLAN or if a voice VLAN ID is configured manually on the switch. The last option is to have it disabled, which is the default. I'll enable the auto voice VLAN by typing the command voice VLAN state auto dash enabled. Enter the command for the type of voice VLAN you want to configure. That's a wrap for part one. Click the link in the description for part two, where I'll complete the steps for setting up voice VLAN on your Catalyst switch. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.